Hello, my name is Carl. And my name is Scott. One of the biggest challenges in software development is collaborating across the whole team. But sometimes it seems that our tools get in the way instead of helping. Even something as basic as managing the relationships between assets such as requirements, work items and tests is time consuming and brittle. Today we'd like to tell you about OSLC, a new way of thinking about the challenge of linking the cycle data used by software teams. But before we talk about OSLC, let's remind ourselves why old approaches have not worked out. I think we'll need the big screen for this. The most popular way to link data in two tools is to build a bridge between them. But for more than two tools, it quickly gets out of hand. Even worse, the integrations keep breaking whenever you upgrade your tools. To avoid this problem, some vendors try to centralize everything in one repository. But then you have to replace all your tools with ones that work with the repository. This limits you to few choices, usually ones from that one vendor or its partners. In an attempt to provide wider choice, vendors sometimes get together and try to agree on a universal fix metadata standard. Sadly, something this big always turns out to be too ambitious. Did we really think that all those vendors could ever agree? One more approach is to ask everybody to use a common implementation framework. But it is expecting too much of vendors to rewrite all their tools, and of users like you to adopt those new tools. Clearly, we need a new technical idea for linking resources owned by different tools. And we also need a new way for tool makers to collaborate. OSLC addresses both of these issues. The central technical idea of OSLC is linked data. You may have heard this term before. Linked data is an idea borrowed from the Internet. Everything is treated uniformly as a resource with an address and a simple set of operations. Addresses are simply the URLs that you are familiar with. In OSLC we take the same idea and apply it to resources like test cases and work items. In fact, we are using exactly the same technical implementation as the Internet. We call this approach linked lifecycle data. Linked lifecycle data allows one tool to request a resource such as a test case using a uniform address, regardless of which two tools are involved, just like a browser requesting a web page. It frees tools from depending on each other's internal repository. And the resource is exchanged using an agreed common format, independent of how each tool stores the resource internally. So now a test management tool, for instance, can share its test cases with lots of other tools, even different kinds of tools, without having to create a different adapter for each one. It just publishes one set of interfaces, and we also don't have to migrate all the resources to a common repository. The requirements stay in the tool that created them, and all the familiar functionality of your preferred tool is still available. To make OSLC as valuable as possible, we want lots of people to participate and lots of tools to adopt the specifications. Development teams typically have a mix of commercial products, open source projects, and utilities they have built themselves. Teams want to be able to connect all of those together. To make that as attractive as possible, we set up OSLC as an open community. Anybody can visit the website, see the work in progress and participate in the work groups. There are no membership fees or tests and all the work takes place in the open. The specifications are also freely available to everybody to use, at no cost even if they didn't participate in the development. The specifications are published under a Creative Commons license that can never be revoked, so you can use them with confidence. OSLC has already attracted a wide range of participants. They come from tools vendors, consultants, open source projects, academic institutions and user companies, or simply as individuals in their own right. And the list is growing all the time.
We hope you have found this introduction to OSLC interesting. To find out more and to get involved, visit our website at open-services.net. Why the dash? All the good names were taken.